All right, so we're going to look at some word problems. A radioactive substance has a half-life of 32 years. Find the constant K in the decay formula for the substance. Use the formula that scientists prefer, Y equals AE to the KT power, where K is the constant. Now, half-life means that in 32 years, you'll have half of the substance left. We're not often given an initial amount because it doesn't really matter when with these half-life equations to find k. So let's just assume a starts with 100. After 32 years, y will be 50. If a was 50, after 32 years, y would be 25. If a was 10, after 32 years, y would be 5 and so on. If A was 1, then after 32 years, Y would be 1 half. So if we look at this equation with the 50, we get 50 equals 100 E to the K times 32. If I divide by 50 and divide, ugh, why do I keep doing that? If I divide by 100, I get 1 half. I get 1 half equals e to the 32k. If I plugged in fifth, uh, 25 and 50 and divide by the 50, once again, I get 1 half equals e to the 32k. And if I continued with the 5 and the 10 and the 1 and the 1 half, I end up with the same formula. So when you're doing these problems, you can either put 1 and 1 half as your A and your Y, or you can start with a larger number oh. to help you out. So we're going to solve this by rewriting it as a natural log. I have E, so it's natural log of what's, what it's equal to, 1 half, equals the exponent 32K. And then I'll divide by 32 and plug it into my calculator. K equals, so when I plug it into my calculator, I get negative 0 0.0217. And that's our constant of decay. Okay, number eight, how many hours will it take a culture of bacteria to increase from 20 to 2,000 if the growth rate, growth rate per hour is 85%? So we're talking about growth. So we're going to use our y equals a times 1 plus r to the t power. It's growing from 20 to 2,000, so 2,000, what the heck, 2,000 is our y, 20 is our a, and 0.85 is our r to the t. So divide by 20, and let's see, I get 100 equals 1.85 to the t. And I can rewrite this as a log, or I can take the log of both sides. So let's do that. The log of 100 equals the log of 1.85 to the t, just another way of doing the same problem. And then t comes out front for our power property. So, oh, what's the log of 100? It's 2. So 2 equals t log of 1.85, and then divide by the log of 1.85. And we get seven point four six four, and that is ours. The Grimes family bought a house ten years ago for one hundred twenty thousand dollars. The house is now worth $191,000. Assuming a steady growth, what was a yearly rate of appreciation? So appreciation means growing. We're talking about how it's worth more. So we're again, we're going to use our y equals a 1 plus r to the t power. y is going to be 191,000. And a is 120,000. 
times 1 plus r to the 10th power. Now this time we're actually solving for r. So this is not going to require us to use logs. So I get, I get 1.592 equals 1 plus r to the 10th. And my variable is not the exponent. My variable is just um, the base of this exponent now. So I'm going to get rid of the 10th power by taking a 10th root. And the 10th root of this is 1.0476. Equals 1 plus r, so subtract your 1, and r is 0 0.0476 or 4.76%. Number 10, the weight of a bar of soap decreases by 2.5% each time it's used. If the bar weighs 95 grams when it's new, what is the weight to the nearest gram after 15 uses? So this is, it's getting smaller, right? It's decreasing. So this is our depreciation or decay formula, A times 1 minus R to the T. So Y equals A, initial, starts with 95, times 1 plus 2.5% as a decimal is 0 0.025 to the T power is our equation. do this on me, which is going to be y equals 95 times 0.975 to the t, and now it wants to know 15 uses, so 95 times 0.975 to the 15th power, and we remember your order of operations, it says our exponents go before multiplication. So we're going to do 0 0.95 to the 15 first in our calculator, 0.975. Oops. Which is 95 times 0.684, and then times by 95, 64.982. And our um, units are grams. So after 15 uses, the bar weighs 64.982 grams. Now these little things, like doing the intermediate step in the calculator, um, are important. If you do it that way, it kind of helps us to see that you're doing each individual step correctly, and we know if it was maybe just a calculator punch mistake, or if you really didn't know how to use the calculator. So this can help you um, actually keep your points uh, by writing that middle step in. Okay, number 11. How much money must be deposited now in an account paying 8% annual interest compounded quarterly to have a balance of $1,000 after 10 years? So we know, let's see, let's look at what equation we're using. Y y equals a times 1 plus r to the t. And r and t must be quarterly. So if the rate is 8%, 0 0.08, we divide that by 4 to get quarterly, 0 0.02. And if t is 10 years, we're going to times by 4 to get 40 quarters. So I want to know how much I have to put in to earn $1,000 after 10 years. So 1,000 is my final amount. I'm going to solve for A, 1 plus 0 0.02 to the 40th power. And 1.02 to the 40th. And let's do that in the So this is 2.208 times A equals 1,000. We're going to divide 1,000 by this number, 0 0.208. So divide by 2.208. So we must deposit, 
see, I got A equals $452.90. $452.90. In order to make $1,000 after 10 years. Okay, all life on Earth contains carbon-14. The equation for decay of carbon-14 is y equals a times e to the negative point zero 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 one two t. A paleontologist examining the bones of a woolly mammoth estimates they contain only 3% as much carbon as they would have contained when the animal was alive. How long ago did the mammoth die? So, let's, this is like the half-life formula. Let's just assume a is equal to 100, and if I have 3% of 100 is 0 0.03. Nah, that's not 0 0.03. That's what I get, is 3. 3% of 100 is 3. So I'm going to let that be my y, and 100 be my a, and we're going to see that even when we use that, we end up with 0.03 on, as the y in our equation, e to the negative 0 0.00012t, divide by 100, and we get 0 0.03 equals e to the negative 0 0.00012t, and then we rewrite this as a log, or take the natural log of both sides, the natural log of 0 0.03 equals point, or negative 0.00012t. Then we're going to divide by negative 0 0.00012 and t, we're going to plug this in our calculator. And I get 29,221.32 years ago.